hypertensive nephropathy. Hypertensive nephropathy caused by primary hypertension is one kind of disease which shows benign arteria and nephropathy sclerosis, and malignant arterial nephropathy sclerosis. With corresponding clinical feature, hypertension makes blood pressure increase in vessels, will leak into protein. When leaking, stream system kidney will be damaged and cause a vicious circle. Long-term damage cannot be reversed, so kidney capacity will increase into failure in the ones. Long-term hypertension can lead into hardening of the arteries. Arterial sclerosis of glomeration will develop into substantial damage of kidney. Absolute cell were damaged. Activity a series of cytokine, such as Necrosing of tumor, interlocking to the other cytokines. The cytokines activate infiltration to mesenchymal region, damaging the filtration function and the barrier function of glomerulin. Protein with negative charging will fall out easily. Showing us protein urea and clinical appear clean edema when pricing. Clinical minor frustration of hypertensive renal disease. Serve edema, the first symptom, the system mitic. Clear edema, appearing dimple when pressing with fingers. Microabinuria, urinary protein quantity is usually 2 pluses to 3 pluses. Daily urine protein excretion of IDOT is about 3.5 gram per deciliter. Hyperprotein mean protein protein decrease, serine albumin is below 30 gram per liter. Hyperlidemia, blood cholesterol and the triglyceride and so on increase obviously. As for the development of hypertension nephrology, our hospital adopted to the different prescription characteristic for one traditional Chinese medicine therapy. An oral Chinese medicine, a bottle of my tongue conversation, a dose of external application with Chinese medicine, a basin of food bath medicine. They can not only treat the internal disease but also treat the external disease. Oral drugs such as promoting blood circulation drugs and stasis breaking drugs and topical drugs are both used to remove stasis, thus control the patient's disease and improve the patient's condition obviously, and finally improve the hypertensive nephrology in a large degree.